So, uh, you want to tell me your story? What do you want to know about my story? God has plans for your life. God has a purpose for you this morning. I felt that the church here was our family. My husband and I had moved away from Pittsburgh area. But I've always told my wife, if something happens and I go before... Hey everybody, welcome back to another random story from the Story Trek stories. For this story, we're taking you to Pennsylvania where it didn't take long to get a story. Somebody rolled up to us and said, hey, what, what's going on? And then we found out about this huge mistake. You know how it works. I pulled Pennsylvania from a hat, got a map of the state, put it down on the ground, and my daughter Mia closed her eyes and dropped a marker, and it hit the town of, well, it's an unincorporated area called Starford. This is where we're gonna get our first story. It's what we did. All we need you to do is spin this so we know which direction to go. Okay. Any way at all? Yeah. All right. Let's see where it goes. Okay. We're going to go over that way. We'll hit this, that, work our way back into town. Since we're about at the edge of town, I'm not sure. Anybody lives in those? What do I know? I don't know nothing. Hi there, how are you? I am fine. <laughs> I just am curious. I live down the road, but I haven't lived here very long. Yeah? Yeah. So, uh, you want to tell me your story? What do you want to know about my story? Whatever you want to tell me about your story. <laughs> Carol Kirka's story is about a big mistake. An oops so huge, it would be etched in stone. We were associate pastors in McKeesport for three and a half years. But Carol's husband felt called to leave the Pittsburgh area for rural Pennsylvania. What did you think when he said, this is where we need to be? It was a shock because there was, when we went to where our church was, there were no houses um, anywhere around it. There are now, but there wasn't when we moved here back in 1990. So when we first moved here, we walked around and thought, where are all the people? Oh, but the people came and filled this tiny church that grew and grew. What's his name? His name is um, Robert Kirka, Reverend Robert Kirka. God has plans for your life. God has a purpose for you this morning. I felt that the church here was our family. My husband and I had moved away from Pittsburgh area to here, and we've lived here for the last 26 years, so this is our home, this is our family. You know, all of our friends are basically here. A leap of faith just coming here, all the while living a life of faith and watching the blessings flow. No one has yet seen what God can do to a, to a person who totally renders their life and submits themselves to God. Man, Hekai has not yet seen what God can do. Pastor Bob preached with passion, and he walked the talk. You can ask anyone. When we had his funeral, there was thousands that came out. Robert Kirka, just 54 years old, won the spiritual battles, but lost a fight with cancer. It was devastating. <laughs> um, I might cry. Um, it was devastating because he was um, the best person um, other than God that I have ever met in my life. He was just wonderful. He was a great husband, a great father. Their son Micah was just 10 years old when Pastor Bob died. For the past six months, I'm gonna say, after my dad passed away, I thought, he's not dead. I, I, did, I denied it. And uh, I would always tell my mom, let's go to the grave. He's, he's gonna be sitting there. But to tell a 10 year old who had that faith was very hard. And I said, but you know, Micah, God is, Daddy is alive. He's alive in Jesus, you know? And that comforted him at that time. Now Micah wants to follow his dad into the ministry and become an evangelist. And not a day goes by that someone doesn't mention how they were blessed by this great man. I feel like he's watching us all the time. It's a great feeling. It is. <laughs> You're making me cry. <laughs> Very comforting. Yes, it is. To know that life doesn't end. Right. With death. No. Just kind of a beginning, really. Yes. 
And he always said that. He always said he was ready to go home and be with the Lord, you know, because he served the Lord all these years and he's lived his life and he's preached and he's ministered to people and he feels that he was ready when he left. But there is that big mistake, such a miscalculation by this good man that in his last act of humility, he made sure it was noted on his headstone. And he always said, I'm going home in the rapture, but I've always told my wife, if something happens and I go before, I want you to put oops on my tombstone. And so we put, that was the first thing we did was we put oops on the tombstone. He's gonna appreciate that next time you see him. <laughs> yeah. Was it a mistake or was it Pastor Bob's clever way to minister long after his death? To this day, people will go by and walk through the cemetery and they'll ask a family member, why does your pastor have oops on his tombstone? You know, well, that opens the door to say because our pastor felt he was going in the rapture and he didn't have, he went before. So, oops, he's, you know, and it opens the door for us to witness. God is able and wants to flow through your life and do something wonderful through you and in you and with you this morning. We loved it here and my husband made a legacy. Here, I do believe, everywhere. And he wasn't just the pastor of Kinport Assembly of God. He was a pastor of all the area. That was such a cool story. It had the funny moments. It had the sad moments. And of course, we don't script this. It just rolled up to us as Carol drove up and said, hey, what, what's going on? Well, we're here to tell your story, whatever you want that story to be. Turned out to be a great story about Pastor Bob and a miscalculation. But because of that, he is still ministering to people today when they question. So the episode was called Oops. We named it after that story. You can look for it. Go to byutv.org to see the entire episode and search for the story trek. Or you can download the BYU TV app from your favorite app store and look for the story trek there. Please, if you liked this, please give it a like and then subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell so that you'll be notified for the next story we do because the stories keep coming.